Well, hello there, Chums Design Captain Steve, and I'm back with an Elden Ring video. And in this Elden Ring video, I'm going to show you how to get the Spirit Calling Bell. So, yes, if you just stay until night time at one of these points of grace, which is lovely, and then it's night time, just go into your fast travel menu, and hopefully, you've touched boots on the ground at the Church of Ella. You just want to teleport back there through fast travel. Once you arrive there at night time, you're going to be introduced to this lovely little lady, this sort of witchy lady that's over here. There she is, on the wall. Let's go and talk to her and see what she's got to say. A pleasure to meet thee, Tarnished. I am the witch, Renna. I'd heard tell of a Tarnished hurtling about atop a spectral steed. And upon looking into the matter, the talk, I surmise, is of thee. Thou art possessed of the power, no? To call forth a spectral steed named Torrent. Ah, as I had hoped, I was entrusted this for thee, by Torrent's former master. Tis a bell for calling forth spirits. Summon them with it. From ash and return to the earth tree. The spirits will obey thine command but briefly, as they recall battles past. Now it is thine to do with as thou wishest. Well, there you go. She's just given us the spirit summoning bell. And you can summon spirits in just one at a time and not in multiplayer by the sounds of things. Lovely jubbly. Now, they are used mainly to distract the enemy, not so much to kill them. But they do do damage. But they do it in small increments. They're, they're not all that OP. I think you can level them up. But I haven't quite got to that stage as yet. Pretty darn freaking sweet. Awesome. Now I'm going to equip them into my quick menu. Once they're on your quick menu, it makes things a lot easier easier because you can just summon them straight in to do your bidding. You can see here I'm still level 18. But now I'm going to try and take on the encampment with my wolfy friends. So you know what? I'm going to let you watch me destroy this encampment. And there's also like a little secret sort of staircase. I say secret. I didn't come across it until now. And I actually get something pretty cool from a chest that I need to now play around with and try to understand. But yeah, I'll let you watch my combat against this whole encampment using my wolves.
So yeah, I'm kind of lame at combat, aren't I? <laughs> anyway, I didn't claim to be good. Right, I've only just survived. Look, I've got nothing in either of my two bars. I just hope there's nothing inside of here that's going to completely pillage me. But no, I'm okay. It's just a chest. It's just a box. Lovely jubbly. And in here, I've got this. Some sort of weird thing, some sort of war thing. Yes, I need to look into exactly what this does, but it looks like it adds skills to your weapons. So I need to be very careful on which weapon I apply it to. I haven't got many awesome weapons that I love and that I want to actually level up anyway. So, you know what? I'm going to hold on to it. Yeah, oh, there we go. Ash of War, that's it, isn't it? Now, I've heard this talked about quite a lot, and I think it does just add another pedigree to your weapon. Let's read that. Hidden path ahead. Yeah, right, whatever. Freaking trolls. Right, okay, those messages. I really don't see the point in reading these messages. Half of them are left by complete... I don't know. Anyhow, yeah, if there is if there is a secret passageway here, how do you open it then, people? But I, I honestly don't think there is. I think they're just taking the mickle. Right, okay. Anyhow, now to try my levelling up process against the giant. Yes, because these little wolves will keep him distracted. So this makes it a heck of a lot easier. So if you haven't seen my previous farming technique of how I got from level 5 all the way up to like level 18 well I'm going to show you again right now but I'll put a video in the top right hand corner if you just want to use just magic if you haven't got these walls if you haven't got the summoning bell but to be honest you can go grab it because it's freaking free if I, if I would have known this beforehand I would have put it in the original guide so here we go you can rest at this point here which is going to create yourself a little mini save point if you do accidentally die and if you do die remember to pick back on up all of your runes before you go back out this each time but all I'm going to do is go through that giant gateway we're going to upset the giant and when the giant comes at us I'm just going to be using my little wolves to distract him this time. You hear him growl before he drops down, so you can start retreating as soon as you start hearing him growl. But if you retreat too fast, he stops about there and doesn't come any further. So don't, don't be in a rush. There we go. Now you will see this side of that little gateway appear over at the left hand side of the screen there. That signifies when you can call your wolves or your ghosts into battle. So there we go little spirits take on out the giant and you can see there he's preoccupied with them. I can now just hit him as much as I like with some magic. Awesome! So this is far easier now and I'm going to get a thousand XP every time I farm him for XPs and runes. Lovely! There we go. Take this you, you big freaking ugly giant. Magic to the face. Yeah, awesome. I'm going to let you watch me completely decimate him. This time and one more, and then I'll be right back.
So there we go people. So my previous video was from level 5 all the way up to level 20. I am now level 20. And although my original video I said within 30 minutes, you could technically do it in 30 minutes if you have the patience and just keep farming. So yeah, it, it's totally doable. Um, but it does make it a lot easier now having this wolf bell. It really does. So anyhow, there we go people. Total time that I've played though is about 2 hours. But there we are. Done diddly done. Goodbye for now. Cheery bye people. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe. And I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thanking you, backers. And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve that little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.